Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm Ryan Rafels. And you know what I really love? Is the holidays. So why not invite in a little bit of serotonin right here in the dead center of September by decorating for Halloween? Let's get started, shall we? This is very exciting because this marks the first time ever where I get to decorate my own entire house. For comparison, here's the front of the house normally. Got the nice blue lights and everything going because it's a nice year-round color and I change them for holidays and stuff. I've only got to change them so far for the 4th of July where this one was red and that one remained blue. So now we get to change it to some nice seasonal colors. If you look really closely, you can see that they're kind of falling down because uh, mounting tape, am I right? <laughs> and I haven't gotten around to fixing it, but that's on the list. So with the exception of Ed the Skeleton or whatever his name is over here, um, this is the house normally and uh, let's get to transforming. So we're gonna be doing this in phases here and I'm going to be doing a little bit at a time. So if I change clothes, change moods, stays attitudes, whatever, don't be alarmed. Um, so here we are beginning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with these light bulbs up here. Uh, up here and down over there and what I've done is I bought some black lights to replace them with which should be pretty exciting and then this one here by the front door I bought a light bulb that is supposed to look like a flame or a flickering candle so we'll see how good that works so let's do that hello down there I'm kneeling very carefully on this uh, very sturdy stool because I don't have a ladder so uh, yeah this video was taken moments before tragedy. Let's change this bulb. You're gonna get a nice view of my torso here. And it's probably really hot. That's actually not that bad. There it goes. And, ah, the base is hot. God, the base is hot. Okay, wow. Don't try this at home. Normally, I think you should turn off the fixture first, but I have not been able to find the switch for this. In goes the black light there. Oh yeah, look at that. That is gorgeous. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to do the other one here and then down by the garage, replace them all with black lights. So there are those. Um, I wasn't really sure how effective these were going to be outside. And to be honest with you, I'm still not exactly sure how effective they are. <laughs> They're not as bright as they look in the video there. There's a lot of light coming off the blue. Um, but I think it adds a nice touch at least. So we'll see how that plays out. And now we've got that light replaced with the flame bulb. Tell me that does not look cool as all hell. No pun intended. Only thing is the bulb is so long that I couldn't put the glass cover back over it, but you know, it's still, <laughs> especially from a distance. Like, tell me that ain't nice. And there we are. So now we have the lights down there changed to orange and purple. And I also added a wreath on the front door here. Let me run on up this way. Which, uh, see it better in the light it's got pumpkins and stuff on it and everything black and orange so yeah this completes my phase one I think we're done for today but I have so much more in store only thing is I'm just gonna move Ed there to like over here he's just uh, you know he's he's just hanging out <laughs> but um, yeah on to the next Alrighty, so we're out here on day two, and I have several types of assorted lights down here. I've got these bulbs, which are going to go around the front door, I believe. I've got this lighted pumpkin down here. And I've got four sets of these orange and purple string lights, which I have a rough idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go up and kind of arch and wrap them around the poles here. I just, I have four strands, so not exactly sure how I'm going to make this completely symmetrical. <laughs> I could have maybe used more strands, maybe I didn't do my math very well, but um, I'm going to figure it out. We're going to make something work. Alright, I've got them on a timer. To turn on at 6.30pm and it is a nice 6.29 and I am waiting here for the big reveal. So it is almost time. And this is going to be the longest minute of my life. Okay, there's one end. Oh, there's the other light. Might be just a couple seconds apart here. There it is. 
and it looks like half that strands out, so that's interesting. We'll have to look into that. Um, yeah, wow. Looking pretty nifty. Alrighty, yeah, we had a bulb up there causing trouble, so I've got that whole strand working, and yeah, we are looking good. I had to go, uh, just decided to go over the doorway with these lights here, because I didn't have as much as I thought I did. But all in all, I still think it turned out really nice, and I've got them over the front door there with the green as well. And then coming over here, I just kind of draped them along the ceiling here. And nice spider web up in the corner there too. So, yeah. We've got uh, pretty much the majority, I guess, unless I decide to go get more. And I think we're looking pretty good so far, so... Now I'm going to turn our focus a little bit to the great indoors. So here's how our kitchen table is normally set up. Ignore the recycling over there. Um, got some nice wine bottles happening in the middle and some candle holders here on each side, napkins. That's just incense stuff over there. So um, I have some fall stuff here to spruce it up a little bit. So I think what we're going to do is uh, move these wine bottles over here so just kind of split them up against the candle holders I guess that should look okay and we got to make sure that snoop is shown prominently right there and uh, my little doily centerpiece here respruce that up a little bit and I think we're going to put this little fall bouquet type deal right in the middle here that's very nice. And I've got these nice little candle holders that I got here. They're a little more fall than Halloween, but that's okay. <laughs> Put that there. And girlfriend has a real candle over there. Well, they're both real candles, but I mean, you know, just a candlestick. So it would not be a good idea to put these fabric around candles. So, um, I don't know, I'll probably spruce these up around the outside here, I guess. That's decent, right? If it'll stay. Just kind of... Uh, how about this? Thirds. Do kind of that jobby. Yeah, there we go. And then I have these nice little placards. Ouch. Not supposed to be a stool there. I need to hurt myself. And, um, yeah. Hello, fall. Hello, pumpkin. So, yeah, that's the, uh, kitchen table there. I think that's looking pretty decent. And now into the living area. We've got our coffee table right here in the living room. Of course, we've got resident pig over there. He's a staple. He, uh, he's got to stay. Um, yeah, usually we have this incense burner up here, I think, for right now. We're going to move that down, perhaps. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this off a little bit. Kind of do a staggered kind of deal. Can't even see what I'm doing. Table. On top of the table. Kind of put it in the right third kind of deal. And I've got this smaller little, whatever you want to call it, Spruce it up on top there, and pumpkin, uh, yes, I don't know, that can go with it, I guess, that looks okay. And I've got this Halloween tree, gonna turn that on, enjoy my wrist. There it is. And I've got these little birds as well. Um, this is where my brain has to function. Um, they don't look terrible. I think this has to come over a little bit. A little. So it's still kind of got that staggered look going. Where are the birds going? One of them has to go on the couch. Bird on the couch. And how about this? We do like a... There we go. That's nice. Forest likes it too. That's what we like to see. And we're going to go over to our couches here and I'm going to add 
more decorative pillows, just what we need. <laughs> Try and kind of stagger these. Yep, I know you're loving this handy dandy camera work. That's decent, right? I'll probably think of a better way to do that. And uh, then going over here, this one's easier. Just gonna plop it right in the middle there. All right, like to tuck away the tags. And that looks nice right in the center. Let me back up. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> that really looks like home. Hold on to your hats. We're gonna do a towel swap. <laughs> I've got these very nice stylish towels if I do say so myself, but we don't like them during the month of October or um, mid-September. But anyway, I've got these very nice stylish Halloween towels that we're gonna drape right on over there. Oh look, you can still see me. Hi. Hey. And we're, oh. Eh. Okay. There we go. These are brand spanking new. Oh yeah, look at that. Very nice. That one there, and this one here. Look at that. Very spooky sanctional indeed. And in the corner here on top of the mini fridge, we're going to put this nice spoopy lantern to a door in the corner here. It's got a nice sticker in there that I can't get off that says, intended for LED candle use only. LED candle not included. Isn't that nice of them? Good thing I have some of my own. So there that is, and that is looking nice and dandy. All right, now I've just added the final finishing touches, both over here on the other end of the table and on the original side. Just a couple little other things up here, selected by my girlfriend and myself, and a couple more little nice touches here in the living room as well. My favorite haunted mansion. And last but not least, some nice, just little window clings in the windows here. So, yeah. I think that's just about everything. So, on behalf of uh, lovely Fred and myself here... Ah! How's that for a fright? <laughs> um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will be back soon for... First of all, for the Epic Amazing Show Halloween special coming up very soon. And then I'll be back in the future for all oh, more stuff in between, but Christmas decorating as well. That's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, I hope you like it. Because, you know, that's my creativity, I guess. I'm just rambling at this point. So yeah, <laughs> see ya.